Hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna go for a little bit of Artus gameplay. Why? Well, this new cool skin came out. This is Mystic Kingdom's Artus on top of Crimson Hair. That's the name of the mount. I did a little bit of research. It would appear that he's supposed to symbolize Guan Yu, an ancient Chinese hero, I believe. I don't know that much about the... Uh, the Chinese culture, so forgive me if I'm wrong. We're gonna be picking up Eternal Hunger at level 1. These are the teams. We got Kerosene, Artus, Chromie, Artanis, Malfurion. And the enemy team stitches Lily, Marquis, Gul'dan, and Zero Tool. This is solo queue, by the way. Tried it with a party and <laughs> went pretty bad. <laughs> so we're gonna try solo queue instead. So let's talk a little bit about Artus. He, uh, there was a time when Artus was pretty bad, okay? And nobody played him. That time... Uh, Thankfully, he's gone now. Okay, Artus is a decent bruiser. He can even solo warrior tank if you so desire, especially in blow-up comps. Artus, however, much like Artanis, for example, needs talents for his tankiness. No talents, no tankiness. Gotta be careful at that hook, though. Gotta be careful at the hook. Turkey coming in. Gonna do a death coil on him, and we're gonna back away. Okay, nobody's soaking XP, so I'm just gonna rotate my ass over to the top lane and talk a little bit more about Artus. So yeah, he's definitely a viable bruiser and he can solo tank in blow up comps, in uh, gang squads and so on and so forth. But ideally, from my point of view, he shines the most in double bruiser composition. Uh, just like this one. See, we got an Artanis. I wonder what he's gonna build. He went for Season Marksman, so I am guess he's building pure damage. Just because you're in a double bruiser composition, you shouldn't really necessarily go for pure damage zero two. Okay? Keep that one in mind. Clear this quite nicely and work on that XP's. Oh, he's coming again. You see him? He's like right in front of me. Mm, and a death coil. He's not gonna be able to 1v1 me, that's for sure. Uh, I wanna pick up the vision because who controls the vision here has a much easier time uh, at controlling the temples. And I got vision. Lily. Oh, uh, we got Zeratul coming in and it's a Lily as well, but I got my kerosene with me. You're going there. Yep, you are. Of course you are. Oh, look, Lily. Come here, damn you. He really wants that vision, and now it's a free on two because that stinking stitches came in, but missed the hook, so we know he's got cooldown right now. Alright, gonna clear this really quick. Pick up the globe, turn off Frozen Tempest. Keep in mind that Artus has some mana issues early game. Okay, late game, you shouldn't really worry about it, but early game, please uh, keep an eye on your Frozen Tempest. My guys are fighting in the middle, so I'm gonna join them. I'm gonna forget about vision right now. I just wanna get in that fight as fast as possible. I'm getting in the fight. I'm following Lily. I'm keeping her slowed or trying at least. Moving on to the Gul'dan. Root will land on him. Q, W, everything I got on him. Not enough to secure a kill. We're gonna be back in a way. Turkey. Turkey! Turkey, turkey, turkey. Heal myself up with Death Coil. Gotta be a little bit careful. What are you doing here? What is the big guy doing here? Anyway, kill these big guys. Alright. Kill these big guys because they give XP. It's important. Death Lord, next uh, talent. By the way, I'm gonna go for a Death Coil Artist build. This is not the necessary best way to play Artist. Definitely not. But it's something I enjoy playing around with in Quick Match. Alright, we're gonna rotate to the top lane. I'm gonna ignore that potential globe there. I just wanna get in the fight. Uh, keep in mind that Zeratul is here as well. See? Zeratul. Death Coil onto him. Oh, he. I thought he didn't have his blink. Try a root. Long range root on Lily will land, but my team will not assist me, so I'm gonna be back and away. Here's Gul'dan. The newly very little buffed Gul'dan. I'm gonna get a little bit of mana back. Alright, Gul'dan. Oh, you have Lily. Oh, and uh, Zertal is coming as well, so we gotta be a little bit careful. We managed to get the most of these. Uh-oh, 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 that hooked. That hook will land on me, damn it. Gonna heal myself up now. Gotta get away from this one. Gotta get away. Thankfully, my team stepped in and helped me. Thank you very much. Flip on the Artanis. A lot of damage onto Stitches, he will fall. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I want to try to get a root. Uh, I do get a double root. Thank you very much. Turn off Frozen Tempest because I'm running low on mana. I reactivate it again. Oh, you're dead. Bye. And Death Coil will secure the kill there on the enemy Gul'dan. Rest assured, guys, Gul'dan is still not something strong, sadly. Would definitely like for it to be, but it's not. We're gonna keep an eye on stats. What kind of damage does Artus do? Well, pretty good. Pretty good. I would classify it as above Bruiser. Just slightly above Bruiser. So he's definitely capable of porking out the damage. Immortal Coil at level 7. Come in. I don't wanna necessarily fight the stitches. What I want is the globe and the wave clear for the much needed XP. Uh oh. Can I get away from this? Oh yeah, I can. No problem. <laughs> ah, okay. Cooldown is coming in as well. One death coil on Gul'dan, it'll come back and heal me because of the talents I picked up. The problem with that talent is that 
sometimes the travel time uh, the travel time back to you might be all the enemy team needs to blow you up before it gets back to you so there's that uh, okay I'm gonna change to Lily then if you don't wanna fight Gul'dan come on Gul'dan fight us what's going on here? ah a little turkey I like a turkey 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 there goes the turkey what it's XP Mm, okay, we're level 8, enemy team is level 7 and a half. Currently we do have the upper hand. Oh look, a Gul'dan. Look guys, a Gul'dan. Gonna get a lot of healing from him, activate from Vizan Tempest. Now I'm gonna back away because it's a 2 on free. Not gonna get much done there. The next temple will be spawning on the bottom lane as per the usual. Uh, while my Kerazim is still soaking top, which is a good thing. He has plenty of time to reposition himself. Mmm... Should I be the one in here? Yeah, we got our Tannis in there, so I'm not really all that worried. Uh, I do have cooldown on Healing Fountain, but it's not needed at this point. I'm just gonna wait for the rest of my guys and see what the enemy team has planned. Okay, Gul'dan. You and me again, brah. Slightly out of position, gonna do a Q on Gul'dan, gonna back away from this one. Kerosene is extremely ballsy. I like that kind of Kerosene. I like that super ballsy Kerosene style. Gonna kill him. And gonna kill him. Sorry, Chromie, no need for your temple rope. And got him as well. Sadly, if I had cooldown on my death coil just a second earlier, I could have saved the little gnome. Oh, Chrome, you again. Uh, eh, get my stacks on you, man. Talent, uh, we're gonna be picking up army of... Uh, no army, God. We're gonna be picking up Syndragosa because I want to show you this the cool effect it has with this specific skin. Also, it's a, uh, I would classify it now as a half-decent initiation. Alright, it's still good, especially if you're trying to escape or a counter-initiation, okay? You were running away, then you want to turn it around on the enemy team. This will be quite nice, actually. Ah, he fell, damn it. Malfurion tried his best, but we lost our tennis there. I'm gonna pick up the fountain simply because I want the mana back, though you do get it through the use of your Frostmoon Hunger. We're soaking out lanes, the enemy team does not have level 10 yet, but there's a lot of them here, so I wanna be a little bit careful. Artis, uh, Stitches can hook me all he likes, he's not gonna be able to kill me. Uh, no, uh, if I was a betting man, I would say somebody's here. What do you know, Gul'dan? <laughs> Got feared away, crash. Gonna do a death coil on Gul'dan, that'll give me my health back. Hey Gul'dan, I have sustained too, you're kinda low on mana. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, I'm in deep shit this time, guys. This time I'm in deep shit. Death coil. Did cast it on the enemy Chromie there. It did not have time to get back to me and heal me. And this is what I was saying earlier with the talent at, uh, at level 7 with the Immortal Coil. This is the talent, sadly, that travel time sometimes is not enough, you know, just to get a sustain. Anyway, I was way out of position here. I was all alone, so that's clearly my own fault. Level 12 for us, 10 for the enemy team. We still have a pretty good advantage. 6 kills to 5, and these are the, uh, these are the stats so far. Oh, I heard something. Oh, yeah, zero tool there. Popped his Shadow Assault. Sadly, our tennis did not stay and fight. It was his only chance to keep on rolling into Shield Overload. He backed away from that one, and that made an easy kill for Zero Tool and Turkey. Okay, we got our tennis down, so we should be a little bit careful for the next uh, about 20 seconds until he comes back into lane. Templars are going to be active in one second. The enemy team is getting in position. I don't want to take a fight right now. I do not want to take that fight. Right now, I want to chill out until our tennis comes back in. And I'm guessing the enemy team is going to come here, but I can get a couple of free shots. Okay, I got a couple of free shots, and I'm backing away. I don't see the stitches. Oh no, 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 damn it. Okay, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, coming. What? Come on, one more W, man. You got him. Turning around, I'm gonna do a Syndragosa right here. Good damage there. Fear. It's gonna be a double. Lily's dead. To my coil. And Gul'dan will be running away. Okay, we got a free for one overall, so that's definitely beneficial. Oh! Oh, oh, it's just a turkey, it's just a turkey, it's just a turkey kill. Turkey kills don't matter as much. Talent at level 13. Oh, let me look, let me look a little bit. Zero tool and uh, golden trail of frost. Ah. <laughs> There's no need for me to rush to temple right now. I'm just gonna take it easy. Golden's dead. 
14 for us, 12 for the enemy team. There's a talent advantage. And as you can see, Zertle is around. Zertle is right here, see? Where'd you blink? He actually blinked to get out of my AoE. Sadly, both our roots there missed mine and Malfurion's. No! Little Chrome! Little Chrome, I will do my best to... Uh-oh. Didn't see you there, bud. Have death quell to the face. Chrome is fighting hard. Will she be able to survive? I highly doubt it. She got pegged by Stitchy Witch. Another coil. It's gonna give me nice healing and I'm gonna be able to stay up. Mm. Turning around. Q on the enemy Zertle. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's try a root. I'm running low on mana. I gotta go. No more playing. One more Q on Lily though. Okay, maybe on Stitches. Get Okay, on Lily. Come on, boys. We got it. Here comes Syndra Go Go! La 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 la, Syndra Goo Goo. Hey guys, how have you been? And Frostborn Hungers. I wanted to say something about Frostborn Hungers, but I forgot. What was it? Oh yes, Frostborn Hunger does not reset your auto attack counter. Meaning what? Meaning to get the most damage out of it, you wanna pop it as soon as you did a basic attack, okay? And then you will instantaneously attack with Frostborn Hungers. Embrace Death will be the next talent for Artus. Gonna be able to pick up this boss, level 16 for us, 14 for the enemy team. Uh, running a tad low on mana here. Uh, ooh, top damage. Who would have funk it? Ha ha ha. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna deactivate the waste, the frozen, uh, the frozen tempest, just to get some mana back through the use of frost one hungers. Because I don't want to go back or pop fountain for no real reason. Hey, boys, boys, bo oh, no, uh, ah, you shitty turkey. Where are you egg at, man? If you are a smart turkey, you would lead us away from your egg. I'm overextending. Like, oh, ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You saw that, you saw that, yeah, good. Alright, it'll be a good time to push right down the bottom lane. I'm scouting ahead for zero fool. Here, have a root. Sadly, we can't follow it up right now with anything. Dismounted turkey. Hey, little turkey. Thankfully, our kerosene believe went for full damage, which, considering we have a Malfurion, is a very good idea. Going on the Gul'dan. Poor Gul'dan. Hey! Hey, let me out of here, bruh! Help, 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 help me, please. No, I'm dead. Fuck. Death Coil. Yay, Death Coil will do enough. Hooray. Does Turkey have heroic? I don't know. I see all that healing. That's because of the talent at level 16, guys. That's why my health went back up so fast so much. And it did a lot of damage as well. Yeah, well, you will regret the day, you fat stitches, when you ate me. Ain't that right? Ha! Death Coil. Boom. Come back to me. This might be the end of the game, guys. Actually. Might be. Not necessarily has to be. Okay. He's coming. It's coming. It's coming to me. Oh, oh, oh. Death Coil. Death Coil on him. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, the fear. This might be a wipe. A team wipe. Or maybe not. We're gonna get away. So again, the lower your HP gets, the more Death Coil will do and the more healing you will get, obviously, because of the talent at level 16. Death Coil! Ah, oh, come on! I did cast it, it did hit Zertul. It just, again, didn't get back to me in time to give the healing because I would have stayed alive. That Death Coil would have restored like 40% of my HP easy. But anyway, we po forced our luck. We were playing around with the enemy team way too much there. We should have went back ages ago. Thankfully, Kerosene did the right thing. He went to control the temple. And we're gonna get more damage on an enemy keep. We did get bottom lane all cleared out, so there's that. I guess this would be a good time to check out talents. Here you go, guys, at level 16. And, of course, stats, tons and tons of damage from Artas. Cooldown is doing a tad more. And well, I do believe that's pretty much it. And I see our Kerazim. Ah, very interesting. He went for a hybrid between the uh, damage build and the inside build. Overtake with wave 100 fist with 7-sided strike. Uh, Fist of Fury. Okay, I, I think I'm, uh, I wanted to try such a build. It's a hybrid between the cooldown, the immense cooldown reduction you get from your uh, insight at level 1 and uh, the rest of the damage talents. I want to try that. Hey, long range. I love the long range there on uh, your death coil. Now we gotta be a little bit careful because the enemy team did tie us. That means the fight will be equal now. I don't want to take a fight right now. Oh, crap. Karazim. Okay, it's time to fight. Here comes Syndra. Lots of slows, baby. Lots of slows. Death Coil will give me some much needed healing. Root will land. Good damage there. Come on, come on. Gotta go in the back line. Here comes Zero Fool. He's gonna get deleted. 
Ah, stupid stitch. I don't have the range right now for W, sadly. Now I do, though. Death Coil, please! There you go. My Death Coil did a lot of damage there to the uh, enemy Lily. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Death Coil, please come back to me! Thank you. And that will restore plenty, plenty health. These stitches hook. So good, yes, yes. Uh, we can push, or we can get temples. Mm, but the temples are not gonna be up for another 15 seconds, giving me the opportunity to clear top lane. Arthas can have a little bit of burst, guys, okay? When in range with uh, your E activated, the uh, WQD can definitely do tons and tons of damage to a target, especially to a uh, squishy. Sometimes people don't expect it and don't know what, uh, what deleted them. Okay, apparently, uh, now I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. We got an issue on the middle lane. They still don't have uh, their Lily, but that Gul'dan just killed my poor little Chrome. Gul'dan, do you not know that I am the only one who is entitled to kill the no Oh, come on! Chicken shit, we should have stayed and fight. I'm gonna rotate to the top lane where Zeratul is fighting Karazim. We're gonna pick up Death's advance. Oh, you had no problem at all in dispatching him. I understand, good job Karazim. So, uh, again, this is not ideal for uh, Arthas. This is something I like to play around with. We're gonna get more movement speed through Death's advance. When we pop it, when we activate it, uh, the movement speed bonus is gonna pump up from 10% all the way to 30%. Normally at this tier, anti-magic shell is definitely a worthy option for a more tanky approach to Arthas. Okay, never mind the vision. He's dead. Oh, hi. Are we gonna follow? Yep, yes we are. And root. QD. The damage, and that's gonna be another kill. Or right, we should really push the GG. We played wrong, wrong, long enough. We got 21 to 19. Ideally, I wanna finish this game before the enemy team hits 20. I'm gonna clear this. Should we bother with Turkey? Come on. Oh, come on, Turk. Turk. Turk, why are you so mean, Turk? Oh, pfft. that's gonna do you any good. Uh, let's pop Diff Advance and chase the Zeratul. See how fast I move? I move so fast, Zeratul. Oh, you were surprised by my damage, were you not? Sendra, go, go! For no reason. You like the nice dragon there and the jade ice it makes on the ground. I think it's fucking cool. That's gonna be GG, and these will be the final stats at the end of the game. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you again soon.